We're standing here amidst the uh, William Hera collection of slot machines that will be sold in our September auction here at Victorian Casino Antiques. These machines were accumulated by Mr. Hera uh, in his early years. Many of them were operated in his casino and then they were put in his museum uh, where they've been for uh, the last 35 years. Some of them were taken from the museum and put in certain executive offices of Harrah's, which is now Caesars Entertainment. And the corporation decided that they had uh, too many of these and they decided they wanted to have them sold. So we were able to acquire this collection and they will all be sold as a collection, one at a time, in our September auction at Victorian Casino Antiques. These machines that we see here were made from, say, 1900 to 1925 or 30. Many of these machines were set up so that when you gambled on the machine, it played a tune. And that may have gotten you around the uh, gambling laws at the time. Uh, but it was a nice touch to hear a little tune out of the music box when you put your coin and gambled in the machine. There's a uh, machine called the Midget Derby that was in, uh, I believe, Mr. Harris' office and other executives' offices that's uh, truly a one-of-a-kind machine. Uh, it's so rare that no one knows exactly who manufactured it. There's also a Mills Duplex. There's the Cayley Roulette, which is always desirable. There's probably 50 of them known to exist, but in the world of machine collecting, uh, the Cayley Roulette, Roulette is like the King Kong, a top machine to have. There's a total of 94 items in the collection. Uh, it looks like there's about uh, 30 of these upright machines, and the rest are three-reelers and other novelty-type coin-operated machines. It's probably the most quantity of upright gambling machines ever brought to the market at one time. 